All right, guys, I'm going to get straight to the point here. There's three things that could crash the stock market, and maybe that's being a little dramatic, but that could bring back the volatility. I said it on stream. I think we're getting back into this one of those volatility events for February. Obviously, it's going to be different. But what I want to tell you this is now for earnings and Apple, we are going to be live streaming right after the report comes out. And during the conference call, we will be listening to it live on stream. So just come back to the channel or make sure you're subscribed with the bell so you guys do not miss it. But <clears throat> there's three things going on right now. Apple is going to report the market's going to close here in about 50 minutes. And when that happens, I think it's going to come out about 15 to 30 minutes after market. And this is going to be a report that I think the market has really been waiting for. There's been a lot of tension suppressed. And I talked about that on the stream where this is now, un you know, this could unravel the earnings and really why I say this could crash the market or it could bring back volatility because now people are going to get two things. We are going to one, get to see what happened with Apple from here you know this is when they cut guidance and this was what um it's kind of crazy that's about three weeks ago time flies right but we want to know okay what now what are the numbers so they they said here we're expecting worse numbers let's see how it really turned up it's kind of crazy to think they're literally at the same price so think about the market reaction january 3rd and think about where we are now we, we kind of delayed things for three weeks so it's going to get interesting um I, i'm bearish on it i i am bearish but i even said watch how everybody goes oh i knew this i was going to say this no one's going to know every everything is going to be so obvious uh 45 minutes from now or about an hour from now so i'm more bearish i have been from here i was you know what i've been saying is that this could kind you know what apple looking like here dropping and you know i think it's just going to continue and, you know it's kind of setting the stage there if the num if the numbers confirm it it reminds me of facebook where we had the first drop in facebook and realistically you know it did its thing went up down went up but eventually you know it came to where it needed to go and you know it it did that so i think that's what we're going to see but this event pretty much what i'm trying to tell you is apple's earnings here you know there's reasoning behind it obviously we could talk about this for days the one thing we need to watch and i'm going to talk about this on the video is their services and someone brought that up in stream uh, i think it was the strategic health guy but essentially now what we need to be watching here is how this earnings plays people are saying will this have an effect on the market it will if their next guidance, if the guidance for next quarter is bad or if this quarter is really bad. So Apple is about two or th I think about two percent or one and a half percent of the S&P 500 index It is also a Dow component and NASDAQ, you know, I, I think Dow component. I'm not sure um, someone could fact check me. Here's your opportunity to call me dumb and I don't know anything, but it's also, you know, a NASDAQ component as well, too. So it will have an effect and there's other suppliers and implications. And just like we saw right after apple did their guidance you saw the other companies you know do their thing but this could introduce volatility the next thing jerome powell so um well also <clears throat> there is brexit uh I, I would say this is you know i'm gonna say i'm gonna put brexit and what's it called in the one and also too if you guys go to investors.apple you could get the conference call when it's up there and read the letter to investors once they have it uh this is the Oh, this is this is their down their downgraded guidance. But like I said, we're going to be on stream there. But there's going to be now China and in the trade war, the trade talks coming here. I believe today or in the next few days, China's having the the real meeting with the ambassador, and then there's going to be the Brexit talk. So both of these events have the have the effect to bring stuff in here. But now, Fed Powell January. The next thing is federal power. There are three things that market expecting to hear from Fed and Jerome Powell. So I believe it's tomorrow. Two day meeting begins Tuesday and will end with a 2 p.m. statement Wednesday followed. So it's already started. We're already seeing stuff. So even that's the crazy part is, and this is what I'm saying, the market is either reacting and Apple's going down as we speak here. The market's either reacting to the Fed beginning today or it's reacting to Apple. So which one is it? Uh, you know, <laughs> you put them up overlaid. So I think it's gonna be interesting and you, it's either the spy is going to catch up with Apple or Apple's going to catch up with the spy. Uh, that's that's what it's going to be. So the Fed is the I, I think going to be the kicker. But then also, like I said, China and Brexit. So going back to that, let me bring up here. There's been about seven things they voted on today and why I'm saying the, the Brexit is going to be important just as China, because this brings up my currency page. 
you know we saw the global currencies move even today the pound had a really nasty drop here so what i'm trying to say is the fact that it did this is a huge huge implication this is like the look at literally the s p is in the middle this is where the europe comes you know the jappy is a reflection of the u.s stocks and our stocks and all that but <clears throat> you could take a look here it also had a drastic move not as big and then you know we saw what the market did here, and that's when the the first an announcement came for the the no uh, delaying of Brexit. This morning they thought it'd be delayed, but there's seven votes that they're trying to do. They want to delay uh, debate, extending Article 50, get rid of it, a no deal thing. They're doing a lot. So how some of these, uh, you know, some of these depending, they, they shouldn't have a big effect. But if some of these go through and some don't, it's showing us implications of how we could expect things to move in coming into March. And again, just like the end of this week is what March is going to be. So you saw my volatility predictions in my last videos coming in the beginning of January. I think we just got a great visual of how things could play out coming into March now, whereas we see we know the events now like we knew a lot of these events coming into january we've been aware of it so now we're coming in closer to to this first you know government shutdown now trade and we're seeing it settled so now coming into march we might see the same thing where it's like one or two big volatility moves then a theta burn and time just a melt up or melt down or steady there and then once the news events this week could come in so this week is going to be interesting or not be careful on the options that's what i'm watching out for and yeah I think I'll just leave it there. That's pretty much it. I love you guys. Make sure you guys do not miss out on the stream. I want to see you guys there. Come with some good questions. There's going to be a lot to learn. Uh, if you guys are new, check out the channel. Check out the videos. Uh, go through the description in here. We have the free stock trading course. The real estate one, I, I ranted on the real estate course. I know this is stock related, but um, we talk about a lot of stock stuff in that real estate course. It, the amount, it's over 30 out. You know, just go check it out. I think you'll like it. And I said, if you can't afford it, you hit me up, holler at me. But that's pretty much it. I want to see you on the stream though. I love you guys. Stay in school. Subscribe. Goodbye.